a day in London. Frank came to stay. The children went to meet her. Hooray, said Kipper. I love it when Gramps comes to stay. He's good fun. Gram brought presents for everyone. She gave Mom and Dad an ornament. Kipper has some little gold clubs and Biff and Chip had a keyboard. Thanks, Gram, said everyone. I, I've another surprise for you, said Gran. He gave the children funny-looking parcels. What are they? asked Skipper. Boomerangs, said Gran. The children wanted to see how the boomerangs worked. Gran took them outside. He threw a boomerang and it waved through the air. Look out, shouted Gran. Skipper wanted to play with the group clubs. Gran showed him what to do. She hit the ball, but she hit it too hard and smashed the window. Oh dear, said Gran. Next day, Ruth, Irma, Nadine, and Anina came to play. Biff and Chip showed them the keyboard. Gran had a good idea. Let's have a band, she said. The band made a lot of noise and the children had a good time. Whatever will Gran do next, said Dad. She's worse than the children, said Mom. Gran had promised to take the children on an outing. She said that Nadine and Anina could go too. I will take you all to London. She said, look after Gran, said Mom as they got into the car, try and stop her getting into trouble. We'll do our best, said Biff, but it won't be easy. When they got to London, Gran parked the car. Now we'll take the tube, said Gran. It's the best, best way to get around. Here. There were lots of people waiting on the platform. When the train came in, everyone rushed, rushed to get on. Now I know why I screwed a tube, said Anina. Everyone gets squeezed. They went to Trafalgar Square. On top of the common was a statue of Nelson. I wouldn't like to be up there, said Beth. I don't like heights. There were lots of peasants in Trafalgar Square. Gran bought some nests. The children fed the peasants. Oh, help, said Nadim. I didn't know that peasants were, peasants were so greedy. They went to Buckingham Ham Palace. This is where the queen lives, said Gran. It is enormous, said Anina. The queen must be busy with all those rooms to clean. A big car drove past and everyone cheered and waved. The children couldn't see who was inside the car. Perhaps it the, it's the queen, said Beth. Gran took them on a boat. They went on their tower bridge. The children were excited because the bridge began to open. It began to rain and the wind blew. Everyone felt cold. Never mind, said Gran. We'll think of somewhere warm to go next. They went to the waxworks. What is the wa waxworks? asked her as they went in. It has wax models of famous people, said Anina. They look at the models. Don't they look funny? said Kipper. You can tell they are models and not real people, said Anina. Who are these people? asked Kipper. This is Queen Victoria, said Gran, and some of her grandchildren. She has lots of grandchildren, said Nadine. Queen Victoria looks very fierce, said Beth. I bet she wasn't like you, Gran. Well, I didn't like to be a queen, said Gran. It must be a hard job. 
He looked at the three seeds. This is what London was like a long time ago, the grand. A lot of people was very poor. Poor children didn't go to school in those days. They had to work instead, said grand. The, bo the boy is the boy carrying brush is asleep. His job was to climb up to nest and brush, brush you down. Gran went up to look at the royal family where the children stay at the sweet scene. Do you think Gran should go off by herself? said Biff. She can't do much harm in here, said Chip. Gran dropped her handbag and some money rolled among the mothers. Gran went to pick it up. As she bent down, she knocked into the wax works and and they began to flirt over. Ram picked the mothers up at the, and put the hats back on. The children couldn't believe it. Ram, what are you doing? Said Beth. Just don't just stand there, said Ram. Help me. Pick the mothers up before anyone sees. Oh, Ram, said Beth. I let you out of my Say for a second, and this happens. They pick up the mothers and put, put the hats back on. They look strained, said the Nina. I don't think think the hats are right. Oh no, said Gran. A lady ran up. She was very cross with Gran. I can't. I can't think how you knocked the mothers over in the first place, she said. It's never happened before. I'm very sorry, said Gran. I don't know, said Beth. I don't think they will let Gran in the waxworks again. Never mind, said Chip. Gran didn't mean to knock them over. Thank you for a great day out, said Nadine. We had never been to London before. I like the ride on the boat best, said Kipper, even if it was cold. I liked everything, said the Nina. Oh my last, said Gran. We can tell Mum some of our, of our adventures, but not all of them, and not the one about beheading the Queen. The end.